chapter 3 electrostatics okay lesson 1 electric charge so we are starting lesson 1 in chapter 3 the name of the lesson is electric charge so you can open the worksheet and you can see what is electrostatics the question is what is electrostatics what is electrostatics electrostatics means study of electric charges at rest electric charges at rest so in this we are today discussing lesson 1 what is the name of the lesson very good electric charge the name of the lesson is electric charge we will continue you can see here how do the balloon balloon attract the pieces of paper and the comb is attracting the pieces of paper how is that possible yes they will be attracted right very good so uh, it is attracted due to the charge separation right due to the charge separation so this uh, just i have given example okay for electric force then electric charge electric charge you can see uh, a neutral object a positive charged object a negative charged object and i have given three lines so can you tell what is the charge of neutral object how much is the charge of neutral object zero right neutral object is zero charge what is the charge of that positive object one positive charge very good what is the negative one negative charge right okay very good so my question is why the first object is neutral with zero charge very good same number of positive and negative charge why the second object has positive charge very good and the third object is negative because it has more number of negative charges so you understand that right a positively charged object means it has more positive charges than the number of negative charges a negative charge object means it has more number of negative charge than number of positive charges if number of positive and negative charges are equal uh, the total charge will be zero the next day i have given uh, in that a plastic rod and a cloth when a plastic rod is rubbed with the cloth what is happening here in this in that image what is happening in that image okay very good perfect from that cloth from that cloth negative charges are moving to the plastic rod right okay so what about the charge of the plastic rod negative or positive you can count how many negative charges are there in the plastic rod 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 s- negative charges right seven negative charges how many positive charges in the plastic rod 1 2 3 4 right okay so the plastic rod has more number of negative charges compared to the number of positive charges and what about the charge of the cloth 
so it net charge is positive right okay transfer of charge same thing i have uh, that rubbing to neutral object uh, like a rubber shoe and a wool rug transfer electron from one object to the other the shoe gains electron when an object gain electron what will be that charge of the object negative if an object losing electron positive charge okay so how do an object get a negative charge by by gaining electron how do an object get a positive charge very good by losing electron not by gaining the protons right not by gaining protons okay by losing electron so only electrons will be moving into the object or out of the object if electron move to the object the object to become negatively charged and if the electron move out of the object the object will become positively charged okay then my question is when you rub this like for example if uh, this is a plastic rod and this is a cloth okay so a cloth and a plastic rod we rub like this so the plastic will get negative charge right which means electron will move from the cloth to this plastic rod so it will gain negative charge the cloth will become positively charged my question is is uh, is it obey law of conservation of charge law of conservation of charge means charge cannot be created and nor be destroyed it can be transferred from one object to the other so during this process will charge conserved or not it will be conserved right for example uh, if it gets three negative charges it will be losing three negative charges right so no new charge is created no new charge is created the charged charge moved from or negative charge moved from cloth to the plastic rod so this process obey law of conservation of charge so the total charge of the system means total charge of this two as a system remains constant very good now we will talk about uh, this is easy right you understand everything correct yeah i explained not drawing on the board i hope you understand any doubt students okay so electric force i have given a positive charge and a negative charge like uh, unlike charges right unlike charges opposite charges positive and negative will they attract or repel attract then positive charge and positive charge attract negative and negative repel okay very good then next day electric forces are repulsive for objects of like charges and attractive between objects of the opposite type of charge or between a charged object and a neutral object for example uh this is a neutral object a neutral object okay neutral so zero charge this is a positively charged rod will they attract or repel neutral and positive charge neutral and positive charge will they attract or repel no yes no attraction and no repulsion is your answer so we will uh, we will check whether it is correct or not by uh, solving the next uh, task okay there is a table you can fill the table
yes yes yeah yeah i understand okay i understand what you are talking now uh, we will go to that okay before that we will complete this table and before you complete the table i have given two lines about the table okay you must read that two lines three times uh, and uh, after reading that two lines three times go to the table okay so ahmed can you read that two lines ahmed not here okay mira can you read mira read can you read mira the lines i have given about the table in page number you are in the worksheet right yeah page number 2 page number 2 in page number 2 you can see electric force right another worksheet okay you, maybe you are in the work uh, lesson 2 worksheet no no electric charge okay uh, by mistake i sent the uh, yes after that i sent another worksheet yeah down one yes yara can you read that two lines neutral object charged object and neutral object always attractive okay yes complete the table complete the table and tell me okay when you when you finish positive and positive what is the type of the force repel very good negative and negative repel perfect positive negative attract neutral neutral no attraction no repulsion very good positive neutral attract positive neutral attract any charged object and neutral object attract negative and neutral attract okay positive and neutral attract negative and neutral attract why for example this is a positively charged rod and here we have an object a neutral object okay neutral object so in a neutral object there will be positive charges and there will be negative charges also right and if you bring this positively charged rod near to this object what happens all these negative charge will move to this side because negative charges are attracted to this side so this side will be more negative charge and this side will be more positive charge go yes so what happens you can see this uh, this positively charged rod will attract the negative charges right and the positively charged rod will repel the positive charges but which force will be greater the force of attraction or force of repulsion force of attraction will be greater the reason is the reason is negative charges are near right the distance to the negative charges is less compared to the distance to the positive charges so there will be greater attractive force that is why a charged object and a neutral object will attract a positive charge and a neutral object will attract what about a negative charge and a neutral object attract okay 
yes uh no because uh the net charge will be zero right so there will not be charge separation okay because this is a neutral object negative positive negative like this here also neutral object positive negative positive negative like this okay so what happens is the force will be cancelled each other so there will be no attraction no repulsion no okay so in in negative and uh, sorry neutral neutral object no attraction no repulsion okay then we will talk about conductors and insulators you know the meaning right of what is conductor and what is insulator before that students can you give examples for some conductors copper is a conductor right very good copper is a conductor then yeah all mm, like all, almost all the metals are good conductors right metals are good conductors very good metals are good conductors give examples for insulators plastic is insulator then wood is insulator rubber is insulator very good okay then uh, you know we are in page number page number what page number 3 right page number 3 okay in page number 3 there is a conductor and insulator there is a conductor and insulator you are giving some positive charge to the conductor and some negative charge to the conduct to the ins sorry you are giving positive charge to the conductor and insulator okay can you see like it is like you are dropping okay you are dropping positive charges and negative charges on a conductor and insulator so can can you explain the difference in the charge distribution in conductor and insulator okay uh, for example uh, in the conductor for a conductor this is conductor right conductor if you give charge to a conductor the charge will be equally distributed for example you put some negative charge here okay on this conductor you put some negative charge here on this conductor some negative charges here you put like this some negative charges so what happens all this negative charge will be uniformly distributed on the surface of the conductor all the negative charges will be uniformly distributed on the surface of the conductor what happens in the case of insulator insulator it will not be uniformly distributed for example you gave some negative charge here so this negative charges will stay there it will not move so here you can see in a in a conductor there is a uniform distribution of charge but in an insulator there is charge is localized localized at that region right here you gave the charge the charge is there for example uh, you rub a balloon with your t-shirt no only your t-shirt okay so at what part you are rubbing the charge will be there the charge will not be distributed uh, throughout the surface it will not be distributed but in a conductor charge will be uniformly distributed on the surface of the conductor i hope you understand do you understand that yes yes correct yes
okay very good so students can you do you un understand this yes was on yes yeah yes yes it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay that is actually not inside okay uh, like they made uh, like a gap here right for example this is the insulator they have given like this right okay so you are putting on this location right here you are giving the negative charges okay it's like you are dropping some electron okay like this you are dropping some electron there localized right Ele the charge is not distributed on a, if it is a conductor then the charge will spread on the surface of the conductor so on a conductor there is uniform distribution of charge insulator charge will be localized it will not spread conductors in a conductor like a metal rod charge spread quickly throughout the material conductors allow electric charges move easily with the metals like copper aluminium being uh, excellent conductors means examples for conductors insulators when you rub a plastic rod or a comb only the rubbed end to become charged because electron for example uh, if i take this rod and i rub on this cloth this just this end is rubbing so only this end will become charged right the charge will not move to this side but if it is a metal if it is a metal for example this is a piece of iron then if i rub this the charge will be reached everywhere okay is air a conductor or an insulator yeah air is an insulator we can say usually air is insulator and in some situations air can be a conductor conducting electric charge can you give one example where air is a conductor air work as a conductor air give a path for the electric charge to flow very good thunder and lightning right yes very good air is typically an insulator but under certain condition it can act as a conductor such as when uh, yeah spark jump between your finger and door knob or during lightning in this cases what happens is that we will discuss okay when we are discussing the lightning or you can read it later okay then uh, there are some questions uh, we will discuss okay i will ask the question and i have given answer in the worksheet okay so if you understand we will we will move on if you do not understand we will discuss uh, first question usun can you read the first question Yes can you explain the answer Okay uh, for example uh, this is the comb and this is the uh, cloth or bowl setter so when i rub this it will get charged and it can attract pieces of small pieces of paper right the comb can attract small pieces of paper for some time and gradually it will lose that uh, property why that's a question why why it will lose because it will lose its charge to the air right the charge it gained will uh, lose to the surrounding air 
surrounding medium surrounding environment the comb loses its ability to pick up small pieces of paper after few minutes because the charge it gained from rubbing against the wool dissipate over time why this can happen due to the moisture in the air so there will be moisture in the air so this moisture will act as a conducting path for the charge to uh, flow out of the comb moisture means water content in the air there will be water vapor right okay that water content in the air that is called moisture okay and this can happen due to moisture in the air or with contact with the other objects or a charge will leak to the surrounding air okay the next is a very good question uh, yara can you read i will go in this order Uh, Yara will read the second question. Paint right here. Yeah. neutral charge positively or charged negatively right for example uh, this is a pit ball a pit ball okay we don't know whether it is neutral whether it is a positively charged or whether it is negatively charged we don't know do not know that so how to know how to identify the charge Can yeah yara can you explain Okay for example you brought you brought a positively charged rod and the pit ball is rippled away the ball is rippled away which means this is a positively charged object correct if it is rippled okay if it is rippled did you understand the question if repelled if repelled uh, students listen uh, for example this is a ball we don't know whether it is positively charged ball negatively charged ball or neutral uncharged we don't know that so we have to identify whether it is positively charged or negatively charged or neutral so you brought a positively charged rod near to that when you brought positively charged rod near to that it rippled away it rippled it moved which means like charge will ripple the like charge right it will be rippled only if this is positive charge if this is positive charge this positively charged rod will ripple this one right so if it is rippled then positively charged then for example you brought a negatively charged object if it is repelled then it will be negatively charged right correct any doubt okay so how do we know whether it is neutral a neutral object will be attracted to the negative charge and to the positive charge a neutral a neutral if if the pit ball is neutral it will be attracted to both the positive charge and negatively charged rod you brought a positively charged rod pit ball is attracted then you brought a negatively charged rod again pit ball is attracted which means the ball is neutral only the neutral object 
will be attracted towards positive and negative charge a negatively charged object will be attracted to only positively charged rod and repelled by negatively charged rod i hope you understand students any question yes uh, if the pit ball is repelled by a positively charged rod then the ball must be positively charged correct and if the pit ball is repelled by a negatively charged rod the ball must be negatively charged if the pit ball is attracted by both the positive and the negative charge it is neutral uh, what about others do you all understand students ahmed fine okay the next is, can you read the third question mira mira here can you read the question number 3 what happened okay i will come back to you mira ahmed please read question number 3 okay you can give a rubber rod negative charge by rubbing the rod with wool for example this is the rubber rod you rub the rubber rod with wool the rubber get a negative charge what happens to the charge on the wool will wool get any charge very good the wool become positive charge why the rubber rod become negative charge yeah it collect electron from the cloth right why the cloth become or the wool become negative sorry positive charge right why the wool become positive charge it lost electron this one gained electron negative charge this one lost electron positive charge okay very good the next islam uh, question number 4 neutral very good excellent and uh, uh, this is similar to the question husun asked at the first right okay the next day uh, we will go back to husun can you read question number 5 Okay. Suppose you hang a long metal rod from silk thread so that the rod is electrically isolated, right? Okay. Means you are not touching the metal rod, okay? You hang metal rod with a silk, silk thread. So the metal rod is not touching anything, only touching the silk rod, silk is insulator. You then touch a charged glass rod to one end of the metal rod describe the charge on the metal rod do you understand the question students yes Okay, 
so you are touching this metal rod with a glass rod right for example you are touching the metal rod with a negatively charged glass rod so what happens the charge will flow to the metal rod right some of the charge will flow to the metal rod so the metal will get some negative charges and metal is a conductor right as it is a conductor the negative charge will be equally distributed throughout the metal right okay very good any doubt okay yara can you read the question number 6 okay so the question is you can charge a rubber rod negatively by rubbing it with a wool so this is a rubber rod wool uh, rubbing so you can see uh, this end of the rubber rod will become charged will become charged then if i take a copper rod copper rod what happens when i rub will copper become charged or no now uh, what happens is when i rub this copper is a metal right it is a conductor so the charge the charge or the electron the copper gain will be transferred to my hand will go through my hand it will go to the ground okay charge will not stay on copper charge will not stay on copper for the charge to stay on the copper we should not touch it right we first we have to insulate it so if i hold this copper rod and rub this the rod will get to the charge the rod will get electron but the electron will move through my hand it will go to the ground so charge will not stay on the copper rod as rub as rubber is insulator as rubber is insulator charge will be localized here if you are rubbing this point charge will be here only the charge will not move through that rubber rod yes what's your question no uh, that will be like small charge right small charge okay small amount of charge we usually uh, feel shock when there is a discharge for example you are walking in the mall so each time when your shoe rub on the floor uh, you will be charged okay you will be charged each time and at the end like so there will be building up of charge more charge is already builded up right because you were walking for some time then you touch a metal so what happens there is a discharge discharge will be a sudden process then you will feel electric shock okay then uh, the next question that you can read it later okay okay so students i will give you just uh, i know mira this late for mira right okay just 5 uh, minutes okay 5 minutes question 1 2 3 4 5 okay the first five multiple choice questions we will discuss now like i will give you students you have 3 minutes and uh, you can answer the next five mcq questions are you ready okay start you have 3 minutes
Uh, students, can we do one thing? Can you complete this for tomorrow? And uh, we will discuss the answers tomorrow. Is it okay? Okay, so all of you come. Yes, all of you complete this MCQ uh, for tomorrow and uh, we will just discuss the answer of this question and we will move to the uh, next lesson tomorrow. Okay, thank you for joining students. I am ending the meeting. Bye.